Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. As we see in the news, how embarrassing the news we see from a company like Twitter. And I wanted to talk about it because many people they like to invest their money and some people they almost worship uh, huge companies. They think they will stay there forever and it. As you see, those people are desperate even to sell themselves. How embarrassing. You know, when somebody chase somebody saying, you need to buy me, you need to buy me, okay? And even we will go to court and sue you. Isn't it, this is a clear sign that those people are facing horrible time? Isn't it, this is a clear sign that this company is dying? If those people are making good money, and if they are successful, do you think they will be desperate to sell? Okay, the guy don't want to buy, who care? This Elon Musk, he made an idiot decision when he thought about buying it. 44 billion. A website will cost you no less. I mean, you can make a, a better website than Twitter for maybe a million dollar, you know, maximum. You can hire employees and people will come, especially he's famous man, you know. He's attraction for many investment, many investors around the world. So he can start his own Twitter and will cost him way, way less. We are talking about 44 billion for a stupid website. And half of the users are fake and they are scammers. Uh, and here I wanted to share this video. I don't really care much for this guy. He is rich already. And all of those they are involved in this are very rich. But the poor ones is the one who invest their money in such companies. Look what happened now. If you are a person who have, let us say, $10,000, and you dream about making money from such a company, and you put all your money buying their stock, and now this argument alone is destroying the stock market for this company. Who in the world is going even to think about buying or dealing with this company anymore? They are exposing themselves. They are embarrassing themselves. They are desperate to sell themselves. And this is telling you how much this company is doing bad. We have many businesses these days. All of them, they are based on the internet. And there is many people, they are dreaming to get rich. I mean, nothing wrong to dream, you know. And if you can, why not? Okay, as long as you are doing it legally. But always you need to know that fast income is a fast risk. And fast risk means you might lose everything. You dream to be big, you become so small. And what you saved maybe in many, many years, you might lose it in a second. So on this guy, he make a comment, start making comment attacking Twitter, and Twitter stocks market collapsing. Uh, even his own company, this guy, if he make a comment, negative comment about his own company, which is not, it's a real business because he's making cars, etc. And he is uh, making satellite and, you know, I mean, uh, should be very successful in the future because this is what uh, the future is about, you know, at least for now. Uh, but he himself, if he make a little comment, about his own company, his stock market will go down and might collapse. Any negative comment can affect your money, not his money. This guy, I, I, I think he's like a kid. He's successful for sure. He became the richest. Uh, but because he have too much money, he care less. Uh, for him, uh, like a hundred million dollar is like, uh, you know, a, a cigarette for somebody he smoke. But for you, a hundred dollar, it might be a working of a day or a two or maybe a week, depending where you live and how much income you make. So those people, they can destroy your life by making one comment or one decision. So this guy, he come to Twitter, he says, I'm going to buy your company. He named the price, thinking that this company is valuable for him. After he start receiving the information, because now he's a buyer, he have the right to go and see, and you know, he's going to be the new owner. 
he noticed that this company is nothing but a scam most of the names in, in users are not really real they are fake and they are scammers and uh, he found that uh, the money he will put he will never get back so he decided to withdraw because now he he went inside the company he saw how the worms are eating it from inside you know too much expenses less money making and it's time for me to quit and run before it's too late but by making decision to buy the prices of the company go high i mean the stock market because now this guy is rich and there's many people they trust that he is a successful businessman he will not do something just by him going there actually that will increase the value of the company the same reason made the company stock market increase is the same reason make the company go almost this is why they are suing because they are losing a lot he decided to leave so when you invest with those companies your life stock your life investment your life whatever uh, all the saving of your life you put it in a stock is in the hand or even in a comment they make those people one comment of those people do about the business you are doing in the stock you are buying it can affect you horribly so i, I advise people you know because the uh, uh, a person he was telling me uh, about how much he lost and he uh, sent me an email saying sorry cp i cannot uh, support you i lost you know in the stock market and i've made me feel sorry for him uh, for sure i mean uh, uh, everybody has have his own the right to make decision to donate or not but i felt really sorry for a good person but he wanted to get rich and now he got poor why we're gonna do that to ourselves never invest in such of those companies and the stock market is really very risky very risky extremely risky you see even medical like those are not the internet they are real and they are needed so even medical companies who make uh, uh, medicine if you remember a company Johnson & Johnson uh, after many years they've been sued because of the powder they used to use for babies it caused cancer so they lost billions of dollars so you might buy a stock of a company today somebody else he got the benefit of Johnson & Johnson 30 years ago and now a decision is made about the company which for something happened 20 years or 30 years ago will destroy your investment today even though you were not investing 30 years ago because now they have to pay and when they have to pay it's mean it's going to come out of your pocket companies don't pay from their pocket and actually those the rich ones they never lose the real losers is the poor ones who they have little money their life saving is the one who will lose it the rich always they back up and they knew and they knew what is inside the company i mean the the the, uh, the one who is leading the company they knew exactly when the company is going to lose they can see in the few in a few months from now oh we have a court decision we know it's going to be like this so let us start selling and then when the court decision come the stock market of this company will go very down then what they will do they will buy from you the same people who sold a few months ago so i advise people to stay away from stock markets stock market is not really it's not a real business really it's the same as a gambling in a casino so if you are into gambling well the risk of gambling is there and always always the casino win this is why it's open they never lose thank you very much for listening i wanted to share with our friend uh, my opinion he asked me to speak about it and this is what i think i hope you agree or not i mean this is your business and you like stock or not it's your risk thank you very much for watching god bless you all